going on everyone? John here from bootcamp.com and in this video I'm going to be walking you through this dissection and we're actually going to be answering this question. So if you're wondering what we're using, this is a platform called Med School Bootcamp and we're in the anatomy section and you can see we have real cadaveric images for each question in the anatomy section. So you can zoom in and out. So let's zoom in and get a better look at this thing. All right, I'm going to go through some of the anatomy just so we can orient ourselves here. So where are we in the body? Well, we're in the abdomen and we're looking at the posterior abdominal wall. You can see this right up here, this is going to be our diaphragm. Superior to the diaphragm, that's where we would have the thoracic aorta. And as it passes through the diaphragm, through the aortic hiatus, it transitions into the abdominal aorta, which will then divide into our two common iliac arteries. Now, coming off of our abdominal aorta, we also have a number of little branches, such as the inferior mesenteric, our superior mesenteric, and our celiac trunks. Now over here, this is where we're gonna find our inferior vena cava, this big purple-like vessel. And this also has a number of branches going into it. On either side, we're gonna have our kidneys, one right here and another one right here. And sitting on top of our kidneys, that's where we're gonna find our suprarenal or adrenal glands. So here's a suprarenal gland right here, and here's another suprarenal gland found right here. So if we're looking at where our arrow is pointing to, you can see it's pointing to a vessel that's coming off of this vessel, which is actually coming off of our inferior vena cava. So if this is the inferior vena cava right here, this is going to be our renal vein going draining blood from the kidney. And we're gonna have this vein draining the blood from the suprarenal gland into the renal vein and then back into the inferior vena cava. So what would we name this? Well, let's go through the list. Would we call it the suprarenal vein? I mean, that's pretty, pretty obvious. That kind of gives it away. So let's click that one, but we'll go through the rest of them. Then we have our inferior phrenic vein. Now the inferior phrenic vein, as the name would suggest, is gonna be found inferior to the diaphragm. So if you've ever heard of the phrenic nerve, this is the nerve that's actually gonna provide motor innervation to the diaphragm. So the inferior phrenic vein is the blood, is the vein draining the blood from the inferior aspect of the diaphragm and it would drain into our inferior vena cava. Next up, we have our renal vein, and we already talked about that. We have a renal vein right here and a renal vein right here. These are draining the blood from either kidneys back into the inferior vena cava to return to the heart. And then finally, we have our lumbar veins. Now, the lumbar veins, you can't really see in this dissection, but they're going to be found in this lumbar region draining into our inferior vena cava. So let's lock this answer in as the super renal vein. And you can see we got it correct. And you can also see the stats on this, but 91% of students get this correct. And of course, if you get it incorrect, you can watch this video right here explaining everything. Now, if you wanna see more cadaveric dissection breakdowns like this, go to bootcamp.com slash medschool, or you can click the link in our bio, create a free account, and you get all these questions for free. But anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.